Hi, my name is Tim at Slide Dynamic, and this is a tutorial of how to apply and use our new accordion style non linear slide navigation menu in PowerPoint. This forms part of the next release of our Slide Dynamic PowerPoint add in, which includes other new features, but I'm going to focus just on this new uh, accordion style navigation menu which allows you to create virtual sections within your PowerPoint and uh, open and reveal the slides in those virtual sections as you present. It doesn't convert your PowerPoint into anything different. It just simply applies this uh, drop-down menu into the slide, uh, which is available to you as and when you present, which I will explain in just a moment when I show you. So the first thing you need to do is uh, go to the slide dynamic tab on the PowerPoint ribbon menu or uh, toolbar. At the top, you'll see it here. And you'll see the icons that represent the features of the slide dynamic PowerPoint add-in. Um, we're gonna use this new template. So you would go to add menu template. There are other versions of this, so I'm just going to focus on the accordion one. You'll see tutorials on the uh, on the other styles uh, if you wish. So the first thing, when you apply the menu, um, and certainly when you're presenting it, it's not visible. It doesn't detract from your obviously your presentation. It's there as and when and if it's required. In order to reveal it, uh, an icon is placed on each slide, which I will show you in a moment. How you would reveal or invoke the menu uh, can be performed in two ways. One, on a click of that icon or on a mouse over. So I'm going to actually do the uh, on mouse click. So we would click that on the uh, dialog box that's presented. Uh, and the idea is that this, were, this process is actually automated and is quite quick. I'm slowing it down. But uh, I'm going to create um, the accordion style menu. So you would click that. Uh, click open and then click select this template and click select and the process is automated so what this will do is it applies the core asset to the PowerPoint as I say doesn't convert your PowerPoint your PowerPoint is still native but once that process is complete which is quite quick there are 36 slides in this uh, in this example presentation the next um, feature or choice you have if you wish to do so is to adjust the colors of the menu that's shown if it's invoked during your presentation. So this would be uh, relevant to the um, to the content of your slides or the, or the theme or the, uh, the design. So in this case, I'm just gonna adjust these uh, to something else to show you. So um, the menu is uh, formed of, of several buttons. So we can go and change the color of the visible buttons. If you mouse over those, it can change color. So let's go and change that to say a blue and then the text on each button which represents the slide's title let's change that to white and once that's done click OK and that's locked into the menu and the final part of the process is to actually generate the content which is the th slide thumbnails which I will explain what happens when we use it and also collect the, th uh, the, 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 the slide's title of each, uh, each PowerPoint slide which forms the, uh, the basis of the visible menu so this differs from the other previous uh, templates we've created. By default, all the slides within the PowerPoint presentation are selected. The boxes by each of the PowerPoint slide titles indicates whether you want that slide to become a subsection heading of the slide navigation menu, which will reveal the submenu of slides. That will make sense when I show you. But basically, I can leave some slides as they are. Let's just leave those. Uh, so if I click on those, it would go to those slides. But um, let's say, for instance, this slide, slide dynamic installation. Let's make that a, a sub-menu heading. Uh, let's make the navigation automation, or whichever slide you wish, another section heading. Uh, complete the process, another. And let's say embed. PDF document another. So we've created from all of these slides these four virtual sections. So anything in blue becomes a menu button which when clicked would reveal these slides as part of that virtual section. Uh, this blue line indicates another slide that will act as the menu heading for these slides as a subsection which will be revealed and so on and so forth. So you could have an infinite amount of slides, an infinite, infinite amount of these subsections. But once you've created that, 
the process is complete. You just need to go and run that process by hitting the create button. It's quite quick. As I say, it's 36 slides and um, it prompts you to save, close and reopen to complete the process. And once that's done, whenever you open this presentation, the menu is available for you to use as and when required. So let's reopen the presentation and we were going in to give a presentation, for instance, so we would go into show mode. That's when the slide navigation is available. Uh, so we can either press F5, hit this little icon here, or we can go into uh, slideshow and you know, click from beginning icon in this case. So my PowerPoint is still native. We haven't converted it into another format. Uh, and in this case, the trigger icon you'll see here at the bottom of the slide, um, this can be changed to fit with your design and can be repositioned. Um, and there is a tutorial on how to customize change you can even make it transparent. But we would obviously go through our presentation um, and as is often or sometimes the case a question would come from the audience where the logical linear presentation format that we've created isn't necessarily going to apply the uh, concept of what I'm trying to convey to my audience and it would mean that I may wish to navigate to a different slide in the presentation to answer that question or in this case my presentation has these kind of virtual or logical sections. I may need to go to a slide within one of those virtual sections I've, uh, I've designed. So in order to bring up the slide navigation as and when it's required, in this case I'm going to do it on, on click function of the trigger icon. Equally you could do it on a mouse over. So simply move your mouse over the trigger icon, you'll see it turns into a hand. You click it and the navigation menu that you created automatically is available to you. So in order to use the functions of the new accordion style menu, uh, you can simply mouse over any of these buttons and you'll see that a thumbnail of the slide relevant to that button is indicated and by clicking on that button you would navigate to that slide which I'm going to show you in a moment. But in this case we, um, we create these virtual sections which I'm going to focus on. So one of them was this slide dynamic installation. So if I click on that button you'll see it reveals all the slides underneath that button in the presentation until the next button I'd created which forms the next accordion style menu heading. If I click on that it then reveals those slides. So this allows me to kind of manage these virtual sections and the slides within them and if I needed to navigate to any one of these slides there's the thumbnail. If I click on the button I automatically go to that slide within the PowerPoint presentation. I carry on presenting and it may be the case I would then need to navigate to another slide. So I'd mouse over the trigger icon, click, and then I can go back and select, for instance, another PowerPoint slide and navigate to it. So that's the basic uh, concept of this non-linear new accordion style drop down menu to create these virtual sections. All the other functions of the PowerPoint slide dynamic non-linear navigation, which is quite a mouthful, uh, function is still available. So if I call up the menu uh, and then I decide that I want to remain on this PowerPoint slide, I can simply click the icon again. Um, we can obviously go back through the uh, presentation in exactly the order we presented it. To do that we could use the history feature. Uh, so I can click that. Basically this brings up um, this history button actually indicated here but if I click on it it actually takes me back to the slides in exactly the order I presented them whether it's linear, non-linear, through hyperlinks. Although one of the concepts of the add-in is to basically allow you to build this non-linear PowerPoint presentation without manually inputting um, hyperlinks within your PowerPoint slide. So uh, I can track back through the slides in any order and I can either uh, resume the presentation at that slide or resume back at the originating slide when I initiated the slide history. So I'm just going to stop here for the moment. Um, and the final um, feature of the menu, which is available in actually all of the menus, um, so let's say for instance I'm going to take a natural break, um, I want to resume my presentation at this PowerPoint slide, what we can do is simply go to the menu, bring it up, save the current slide view, which is this build navigation, and then I could um, for instance close the PowerPoint presentation down, 
go off, have a natural rest break within the PowerPoint. And if I then came back, and let's navigate to the back and the beginning of the presentation and restart the PowerPoint. Um, if at that point when we resume the presentation, I'm obviously not on the slide I'd finished on, or if this is a question that had come up during the presentation, I could mark that slide to later come back to it to review with the person who'd asked it. Um, I can carry on presenting and to resume at the slide I'd saved, I simply click the trigger icon, the menu is there, and I can simply go to the resume slide view save point, and I'm back at the slide I'd saved. So that is the new accordion style navigation menu. Builds the navigation automatically. It's available when you need it as you present. This all forms part of the next release of the Slide Dynamic PowerPoint add-in, which is version 2.9, and I will cover the new features of the add-in in another tutorial. Thanks very much for listening.